Okay, guys, we are back, um, and we are recording again. Um, this is to choose our lovely home, and I'm going to kind of go in and look at the houses with you guys and figure out where I want her to live so that you can kind of see um, the houses in this neighborhood. Looks like the first house available right here furnished we would only have just a little bit to our name but that's okay we can go in and view it anyway see if it would be ideal for more than a couple of people maybe we, you know if it's expandable or if it's gonna be the type of house that we're just gonna have to say uh no thank you all right so it's cute it's a cute little house I don't know if I really feel that great about it right now but that's all right and I'll take down my walls here so we can... Oh, it is. Never mind. Alright, so... Okay, so here is our living room. And there's a bathroom there. Um, with only a shower capability. And there's not much room as far as living room and kitchen and all that. Let's go upstairs. And there's only an open loft here that's not ideal. And to expand would be kind of difficult because I'd have to take out walls and it wouldn't be symmetrical. So we're probably not going to go for this one. How It's cute. It really is. And if you're going to have, you know, um, a sim without a family, that would be a cute little place, you know, for even a couple. As long as they're not going to have kids. Uh, it, it's a cute starter home. I mean, yeah, we could do this and then move out once we have children. But I really want to get children going as soon as I can because I want to get that all set and over with so I can focus on her job and the things that we need to accomplish in this uh, first generation. Alright, so we're going to cancel out of here. We're going to cancel. Alright, so here is another house furnished. Would not leave us with much at all. Right around $700. Um, almost eight, but still let's see because we're definitely going to get it furnished because i don't want to go in an unfurnished house but let's let's just take a look see what it looks like oh this is really small <laughs> okay uh wow um it does have room to expand if you want to or if you're able to down the road and it's got a cute little pond back here i love this um i don't know if this is part of the lot or not uh, back here. I don't think it is. I could be wrong. But it looks like it's just this here. Alright, let's zoom in and drop the walls. Uh, we'll drop down the floor level. Okay. Yeah. See, again, it's, it's, it's a small area. Um, I don't like the layout. Um, too much. It looks like a lot of wasted space in a way because you have so much room to actually have a house and and it's just a small little house here. I don't know. I just something about it I don't like and the bathroom is so super small. Yeah, I don't think we'll be going with this in this one either. Um, if I had a choice, I would probably pick this one over the other one just because of the fact that you can. It would be somewhat easy to expand by putting in another floor on top of here. Um, but, eh, you know, we'll deal with that when that time comes. Hopefully we can find something that's a little bit better than this. I'm not sure I want this much property. Because in this legacy, this challenge, you can move you're not limited to that one particular spot and you're not limited to like oh you have to have a certain amount of money when you first start off you know you can only buy a certain lot stuff like that you don't have that uh, hanging over you so you can purchase whatever lot you want you can move around as many times as you want from what I understand so we're gonna say no to this right now all right sunflower shack uh, Shaq's got me a little worried, but we'll still go ahead and take a look. Okay. Let's zoom around here. 
actually that's really cute and if you're gonna deal with horses this would be a great starter home for that because you have a nice little pen right here but we're not dealing with horses oh it's really cute though I love the sunflowers here and the in the different flowers along the side I really do think it's cute the, the house isn't the greatest in the world but the way they have it decorated and set up it could considerably be great yes yeah, and they even have a little horse logo there this is a cute place but I doubt it's gonna have the room that we need yeah this is super super small very cute like I said a cute cute place and you could easily rip out this wall and uh, fence well you don't I don't know if you'd have really you'd have to rip out some of the fence and build on and make an addition to the house I mean it, it, it definitely is doable but I really want to try to get a house that has at least two bedrooms so that I don't have to do any kind of work to make it livable for my character especially for you know being a first generation uh, I want to try to have it so that it's all set and ready to go oh, I just heard a loud crash here so I'm going to pause it right here and see if there's something going on that I need to you know check out so sorry about that guys but I will be right back so yeah this is actually a possibility in a way because at first I thought no there's no way but you could expand it um, out this way and have a nice house because this is definitely your property as well so this is actually doable if I can't find anything that has um, a couple of bedrooms so we're gonna cancel for this right now remember that it's the sunflower shack I think this is gonna be this is the best so far private property it's a one bedroom one bath uh, what's this one bedroom one bath we'll look at them um, we'll keep looking we'll keep looking I'm hoping eventually we can find something with two but um, we did that one okay so let's go in here and let's take a look at this that's very odd shaped I can see that already but let's preview the lot okay let's let this load a little bit I think we're gonna have to rotate around here to get to it okay it's a cute little place it's oddly shaped I don't know if I like that at all but you know don't knock it till you look at it I guess um, let's go down the floor all uh, right here we have a garage which we could easily make into another room so this could potentially be a two-bedroom place and uh, we could take out the garage bit part of it and there's another there's a bedroom there and there's this is a big open space too I just don't like the shape of the house I don't know but um, anyway I don't know if this is a, like if you can even use this as a part of a house too or if it's just limited to a garage um, I definitely don't like the decor in here it is ugly oh my word sometimes I don't know what Maxis is doing with some of their stuff that they've created um, yeah wow that's hideous Ugh, looks like vomit. Okay. Um, we're gonna say no to this because I really don't like it. I would almost rather buy a one bedroom house like the, the, the sunflower property and expand uh, later on than have to deal with this. So we're gonna cancel out of this and cancel. So that was, was that, no, nope, that was private property. Now we're gonna do tur turnkey trot. And see, um, ooh, almost hit the wrong key. Let's see what this has to offer. Oh no, this is cute. This is really cute. I like how it's set up. Oh wow, how cute is that? I like this a lot. I wonder if you can put in a little car thing there so you can park your cars under there. Anyway, but uh, let's take a look. Um, the lot I think is just this small. So I don't think you can really expand. It's going to be the only problem with this house. You could go up, obviously. You could always go up, but 
Uh, it's gonna ruin the look of the house too on top of that though. This is a really cute house, but um, there's no way we can make this li livable for a legacy household, even in the first generation. Uh, it's cute though. Like I said before, it would be cute for a, you know, a single couple or a single person living here, but it's just not, it's not um, doable for a legacy ho household. So we're going to cancel this and we're going to keep looking. Okay, this one is the Pacer Place, one bedroom, one bath. We're going to view this. I don't think we viewed it before, hopefully not. I apologize if we get in and we realize we have. Nope, we haven't looked at this yet. Hmm. I'm not sure how big the lot was on this, but if it was bigger than the house, it's definitely a place you could expand on. Oh wow. See, it has a separate little living area or something. See, this is a lot of wasted space too. You could probably cut down in size. Like I could completely, all, well, there's the door there though is the problem. If I could move the door of this place here, which I could, it looks like, I could actually chop this and make this a separate bedroom. So this is actually a workable um, house and it's really not that bad for a starter home. Because you have your, you know, living room here, and you have your kitchen, and your little, this is really cute, this little eating area here, I'll put the walls up, so we can see. That's really cute, I like that a lot. And it has a little driveway for your car. This is definitely doable, um, and I think it's going to beat out the sunflower place. Yeah, so let's... Remember this one, Pacer Place, and, um, and it's pretty close, it's close to town too, which is great. So I think we're going to go ahead and take this furnished, which is 16, um, oh, that's how much we have. So it's going to give us a little bit of money. All right, guys, I, yep, I'm doing it. There we go. So we're going to put, put her into her house. And, um, when it's loaded, I will come back with you guys. Okay, so here we go. We are on our new lot. Yay, it's exciting. Um, she already has the want to learn a writing skill, which we're definitely going to do. Take a writing class. Ah, uh, $750. Mm, yeah, maybe. I'm not, you know, I'm, eh, it's a maybe. It's a big maybe. Nothing in our cat's thoughts or wants yet. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we have here. Hi. Oh, she seems very happy to own her own place and to be in the uh, swing of life. A young adult, new to the world. Oh, let's actually, let's take a look at her sim panel here. Um, and her needs are there, and her symbology. Oh, she has a lot of days left. Good. Sometimes it's a little ways down in the bar and takes some life off your sims. And not good. Okay, um, I think one of the first things we're going to have to do is, unfortunately, we're going to have to buy a computer and uh, a desk for that computer. So we're going to have to go into build buy. Um, we're going to get out of that and get out of that and what get out. And I think we'll, we'll just, um, we'll put it right here. I don't know. Where do we, maybe we can like put the bookshelf like down here and then put that there. I don't want to block the window. This is some natural, lovely light. So, yeah, um, actually, we'll put the bookshelf right here. And then we'll put the table right here. That works for me. Um, study. I'm going to get a desk here. We're going to get the cheapest desk possible, which is going to be this $95 one. 
Perfect. Fine by me. Do we want to get something that looks halfway decent and kind of artsy? Or plain? Yep. Oh, plain Jane. Yep. Works for me. What do you guys think? How much is this one? 140. Uh, it's a big difference. Yeah, we're gonna use this for now. We can always upgrade to something better later. Uh, computer. Important to have a computer. Uh, we just make it. Just make it. Holy cow. And then we're going to duplicate this chair here. And there we go. We are down to $239 in our account. Oh my word. <laughs> that is, oh my. Okay, so now what's this? Write a novel. Of course we're going to write a novel. Um, that's your goal, dear. You have to write books and love off the royalties. And all the while, accomplish your lifetime want, which is to be a professional author and to earn $4,000 per week in royalties. So, we better get started, I guess. Um, we're going to learn a writing skill. Hopefully this has... Uh, writing? No? Maybe we have to do it by... We have to learn it by doing. Hmm. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay. Oh, there we go. Writing. Um, do we want to practice writing first? I think so, because if we write a crappy book, that would be embarrassing. Uh, so we'll practice writing, and we'll gain some skills from it. Um, we do have to look into getting things for poor Chewy. I almost forgot about him. So, I think the biggest thing's going to be a food bowl for him. Let's see if I can... There's the cat stuff. Food bowl. Basic. $35. Sounds good. Oh, we'll make it blue. I like blue better. Um, where are we going to put his bowl? We'll put his bowl in the kitchen too, maybe? Um, maybe right here? Right there. Works for me. And um, a litter box is very important. So we're going to go with this litter box here in blue again. The litter box can go, like, right here, out of the way. And then he needs a scratching post. Poor guy. So, we'll give him a scratching post. And we'll put the scratching posts... Uh, we'll put a scratching post by the couch so that he'll scratch the scratching post instead of the couch. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, there. I think we're good with all that. Perfect. Um, and I, where is he going? No, don't play in, <sighs> see he's already causing trouble, playing in the toilet. All right, um, you know what, actually before you do that, I want you to fill his bowl, um, and then I want you to practice writing. Yes, there we go, because we need to get her going on her skills ASAP. Uh, and since she doesn't have to actually go into work to earn a living, we have all the time in the world to go out and find a guy to have a kid with to be a baby daddy. Okay, it says attention property owner ownership has been upgraded to the digital age. All deeds held by Sims have been reclaimed by the city and Sims can now ma manage their properties via the phone or computer with new enhanced options. Okay, great. Alright, so here. Um, yay, I'm happy to get her moving and working and getting things done.